Hey everyone, it's that time of the month once again. It is Performer of the Month time. And it's so exciting. I can't wait to talk about all of these nominees and the staff and the reader winner. So let's begin. So guys, it's February time. It's Performer of the Month time. Let's take a look at our nominees. But just as a reminder that Elizabeth Olsen and Jared Padalecki are not eligible because they won last month's staff and reader votes. So well done to them, but let's find out who will be joining them as possibly the performer of the year in December. So let's begin with the staff votes. And we have Ella Hunt as Sue Gilbert Dickinson in season two, episode 10. And Jamie has shared with us their thoughts, which is Ella Hunt really showed us what she's capable of in the finale. Her scenes were mesmerizing to watch. I could almost feel Sue's desperation in her scenes with Emily. So thank you, Jamie, for sharing your thoughts and congratulations to Ella. Next up again from Dickinson, and was also in last month's for contention, was Hayley Steinfield as Emily Dickinson for the same episode. And the confrontation scene with Sue was the pinnacle of the season that everything had been building up to for Haley's Emily. Haley's performance was commanding and her voice firm, but the tears that built in her eyes throughout the critical confrontation scene spoke volumes to the real feelings of pain and betrayal Emily was experiencing. Haley delivered stunning performances throughout the season, but the performance Haley delivered in this episode was on a whole other level. So thank you to Amy for sharing your thoughts on why Hayley Steinfield should have been the winner of the month. And who knows, maybe she is. I'm not going to tell you yet. I'm keeping you on the edge of your seats. Next up, we have one of my picks and one of my votes, which was Catherine Horn for her portrayal of Agatha Harkness in WandaVision. And this time we have Laura's opinion, which is Catherine Horn has been a constant delight in WandaVision. Whether it's the nosy neighbour, the witch rival in Wanda, or just Wanda's closest ally. This episode allowed Horn to show exactly what she put in the character and how she made it original, but still the comic book character people know and love. She does a spectacular job opposite Elizabeth Olsen, and the chemistry they both have on screen was clearly very helpful for that. So that was Catherine Horn for WandaVision. Next up, we have Oliver Stark as Evan Buck Buckley from 911. And this time we have Matthew sharing his thoughts, which is playing a character in both the present and the past at different points in their development is the demand that some actors are not up to. This is not the case with Oliver Stark. Stark conveys Buck at two separate phases of his life effortlessly and gets to act out a range of emotions that transforms this episode into a wonderful showcase for Buck and himself. Stark's performance in this episode is another example of how he's won over so many fans over the course of 911's run. So thank you Matthew and obviously congratulations to Oliver Stark on his nominee. And the final nominee for staff for February is another one division and it is Paul Bettany as the Vision. Now Luana has shared her thoughts and it is, Paul Bettany has been amazing from the beginning but his talents were absolutely perfect in this episode from his interactions with Darcy and the circus to the interviews that were part of the episode's sitcom format. He had not only the perfect comedic delivery but also a great performance in his final emotional realisation. So that was our staff nominees. Now before I reveal the winner, we are going to go through the reader nominees and we actually have a few which are very similar to the staff. And first up again is Ella Hunt for Dickinson. And this time we have Alan's opinion, one of our spoiler TV readers. So thank you for submitting your thoughts. And Alan says, after not having much to do for almost the entire second season, Ella Hunt finally has her chance to shine in the season finale. She was fantastic in the scene where Sue finally gives into her feelings and reveals them to Emily. So thank you very much for that, Alan, and well done to Ella once again. Now, from a totally different show, this time we have Emily Van Camp for The Resident, and this is for episode five 
of season four. And we have Lee sharing their thoughts, which are, Emily's performance in this episode was profoundly impactful and she portrayed Nick not just fighting for her own life, but for the life of her baby as well. The fear and resilience she portrayed throughout the episode was powerful. A poignant performance. So thank you Lee and well done to Emily Van Camp. I've heard lots of things about this episode so it's great to see that some of the actors are getting recognition. Again we have another name that we've heard before, Hayley Steinfield for Dickinson and this time Alan has also shared his opinions on this and they are Hayley Steinfield is always amazing but she outdoes herself in the season finale when Emily accuses Sue of having no feelings only to be surprised and happy when Sue reveals that she has feelings but only when she is with her. Let's hope that Steinfield is remembered at the awards. So who knows, maybe they'll get nominated for something in the future but it's more important that it's a spoiler TV performer of the month award, the biggest awards of the year obviously. And next up another actor from The Resident and this time it's Mac Zuckery and for his portrayal of Conrad Hawkins and we have Ivan sharing his thoughts which is Matt's performance in this episode was equally powerful Conrad's usually in control but in this episode he had to let others help him and Matt played it beautifully as I said it sounds like that episode of The Resident has really been a big important one and a one enjoyed by many fans and our final nominee from 911 Again, it is Oliver Stark. And this time we have Karen's opinion, another spoiler TV reader, and they have said, the way he betrayed his emotions throughout the whole episode, it made me really connect with the character. Especially in that scene inside the factory where he was trying to lift the machine off the person pinned under. You could see his raw emotions portrayed and it was so beautiful. I could feel all the hurt and the pain and sympathise with Buck in that scene. That's why I believe that Oliver Stark deserves this award. So thank you very much to Karen and thank you to everybody, the staff and obviously the readers for sharing their thoughts for the nominees and congratulations to all of the nominees. You are all winners in our hearts. However, only two of you can be the winners of February. So first up, the winner of February's Performer of the Month it should have been obvious, it was Agatha all along, it was Catherine Horn as Agatha Harkness in WandaVision. So well done the Catherine, I've been a huge fan of WandaVision and part of that is down to Catherine, so well done and thank you so much and I really hope we get to see you again in the future. And now the one that many readers of Spoiler TV and fans are probably more interested in is who has won the reader vote. And I can say this was a majority vote, a very high percentage voted for Ella Hunt for Dickinson. And I've heard lots of great things as well about this performance. So well done to Ella and well done to all of the fans who've supported Ella. I'm sure Ella deeply appreciates everything you've done for her. So those were our February winners. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments below who was your pick. Who would you like to see maybe potentially for March? There's links in the comments below where you can keep up to date with the next round of Performer of the Month. So give us a like, give us a subscribe, let us know your thoughts and feelings for Performer of the Month for February. I've been CJ, thank you for watching and we will see you next month. Thanks for watching our video guys, really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget you can subscribe to Spoiler TV just using the little Spoiler TV button or check out some of the latest articles and recommended videos from our channel as well. Thanks for supporting us and we'll see you again soon.